she has the courage to fight. That's what we want to pass a message. That, Listen, so what if you're a woman? You, you, you better get up and fight. You're nowhere uh, weaker than the, the male sex. So it had a very strong message. That's so why it got tax-free in Maharashtra, it got tax-free in Delhi, it got, got tax-free in UP. So it, it was a film with a very strong message. And also Gulam, though it was an entertaining uh, film, it has a strong message where a, a boy, an ordinary street boy, fights against a, you know, a gunda who is doing extortion in the basti. He said, why should five people bully an entire basti of 5,000 people? Does that, it happens in Bombay, it happens in Bihar, it happens in Patna, it, it, name it everywhere. Where a handful of uh, criminals, gundas, bully the entire uh, society. So this one boy, a street boy who stands up, courage to stand alone and fight them and throw them out. You see? So again, Gulam had a strong message. So you should make films which are entertaining because you don't have to make something which is very dry and you know, people are either just fed up of their own real life. But in the mainstream cinema, if you can pass on a good social message, very well, uh, you know, interwoven with the popular cinema uh, genre, I feel that's a way uh, most of the filmmakers should make films. Now, when you talk about Gulam, I think about Amir. You have worked with him in the Mantanagi, and now after quite some time, you worked with him in Gulam. Mm. But do you see a lot of difference in him as an actor? Yeah, he's grown leaps and bounds. He is really growing as an actor. So, I think so. He is one of the finest actors today. <laughs> he has the intelligence to know uh, when... He is not uh, a, an actor who would like to take all the uh, limelight on himself. He gives tremendous importance to the script. When he knows the scene, a particular scene belongs to the heroine or to the character artist. He takes a back seat and that's what an intelligent actor is all about. He doesn't want to just overshadow everybody which some actors do. I don't want to name them, but you know. But that's the great quality of Amir Khan. Mukesh, what's your next film, Sankash? Sankash is a very intense, passionate love story. It's a story of a girl who's a CBA officer. Pini Zinta is playing it. She is... Uh, she comes across a criminal who's killed a couple of people, Akshay Kumar. And she needs his help to catch hold of a psychopath killer. And Akshay is supposed to be a very intelligent person. And how she needs his help to catch hold of a psychopath killer. In the process, she falls in love with him. You see? So in search of a criminal, she, she falls in love. So it's a very interesting, hard-hitting, targeted for the mass audience, like what Sadak was all about. We are, it's going to be a very punchy film. You know, it's not going to be a very subtle and a very soft. It's a very hard hitting. It will sock you right on your face, right from the screen. You know, like what Sadak was, what Satya was. It's that, that genre, the film. Which means you're trying to give a different image to Akshay in your film. Yes, uh, Akshay, I can guarantee you one thing that, unfortunately, that boy is so good, disciplined, he was not, his talent was not tapped. Like I told you, like, like Ajay Devan, till Naj, he did Najaz and Zakam. Nobody had tapped his talent. So we, I, I take great pride that, you know, Akshay has performed so brilliantly in Sangarsh. You know, the, that once Sangarsh releases, people are going to raise their eyebrows and say, oh my God, this guy can really do a great performance. You see, you see, actors like Clay, you have to mold him the way you want to mold him. So I don't blame an actor where the performance is bad. I blame the director, the producer for it. You see, they're like clear. You mold them the way you want to mold them. If, uh, Shah Rukh Khan is very bad in Guddu, but extraordinary in a Yash Chopra film. Why? Because the baker is there. Similarly, uh, Akshay Kumar, you watch him in Sangarsh, where he's working with the buds. What happened to Ajay Devgan? After Najayas and Zakam. You see? So it, you have to have a good craftsman to really take out the real talent inside you. Another thing, like I said earlier, controversies and parts. Another thing, everybody says that the parts always, all the film stories around the, their own personal life or their family life. Mm. How far is that? See, <coughs> cinema is an extension to life. There's no difference between life and cinema. You see, you can always, when an author writes a book, he also puts in his personal things. 
what he gathers from life itself. And cinema is just part, cinema is life. So what's wrong in it? At least it's pure. It's not contrived. It's not fake. And anything which is pure and not contrived and fake, it really to, reaches out and touches the inner chords of the audience. And nothing can be more purer than life. And we have succeeded in that because uh, people have appreciated us to be honest enough to take. We we don't boast about something uh, uh, called originality because there's nothing original in this world. It's a sum total of what we gather in life, our experiences. We put together and just project that on, cell on celluloid. And a person who says that he is original, he is the biggest fake. Yeah. Uh, are you? Uh, I mean, is Pooja playing any kind of a role in any of the performances? No, as a woman, she's uh, she just finished Zakam now. Because so she's got herself very much involved in, uh, which again I'm co-producing with her. Uh, a classic. Uh, she's doing a serial uh, with Vikram Bhatt as a director, and a serial like this has never been made on for Indian television up till now. In terms of its budgeting, in terms of its canvas, because Vikram Bhatt is directing it, Praveen Bhatt is the cameraman. Pooja Bhatt for the first time is doing a main role on the television. So it's uh, based on all-time classic Wuthering Heights, you know. And we're shooting in Uti, so and it's going to be a long saga. It's going to be on the international style, like what a Far Pavilions was. It's not one of those normal uh, serials which you see in all the channels. It's going to be a class of all. So she is very creatively involved with that. And I was thing good about Pooja is when when she does something, she does it totally or she doesn't do. It. Like we all Bhatsa, got a genetic problem. When we do something, we do it totally or we don't do it. So now at the moment, I think that the next. Uh, six to seven, eight months. She's going to be totally busy because 52 episodes she has to shoot. But that's one hell of a lot, and she wants to give it all. She doesn't want to just be. A, she's producing it. She's acting in it. She's involved in the casting of other characters too. She is monitoring also the script uh, of each episode with Vikram. So that's going to take a lot of uh, energy out of her, you know. And she wants to do the best. So why get confused by doing too many things together? Okay, so I'm going to ask you the question, which has been your favorite, your own film, Kavli is, You're talking about my film or outside, my own? I really loved Dile Ke Mantani. And why is that? Because it was a very sweet, layback film without, you know, you can keep on watching the film again and again and again. It's, it's a beautiful film. I loved Sir because it had a very strong message. It was a very emotionally charged film. I'm very proud of Gulam and I'm extremely proud of Zakam because it's the story of my mother. And the mother is my mother is the most important thing in my life. So these are the four films which I really, really I'm really proud. I can put my have impression on it, you know. Yeah, man, I made this. And what about the songs? Since you have a music record, which one you the best? The best was Ashiki, of course. Ashiki in the music industry is what you can call the uh, Titanic of music industry. I don't think so. Any film has broken the record of Ashiki in terms of music sales, even today. I think you can say you gave birth to Nadeem Shravan. Yeah. I gave birth to Nadeem Shravan. I gave birth to. Uh, the rebirth to Anu Malik after he had his line of flops, he was disgusted and he came back with Sir and Fir Teri Kahani and all those films. And then uh, Jatin Lalit, I took them on when they were going through a low phase and now to right on the top. I feel very happy that, uh, you know, I promote the people when they are going through a low phase. Or We, we made, a, made a company policy that we give maximum breaks, like Ashutosh Rana, a dominant villain. Uh, Manoj Vajpayee started his career with us in Tamanna and uh, Dastak and now he's Bhikkhu Matre. So he was, you know, he started from here. So we, it's great uh, feeling, you know, that a lot of people have uh, started from this family tree called the Vishesh Films and grown and blossomed outside. Thanks, Mukesh. My pleasure, my pleasure.